What's going on guys? It's Bucky and welcome to another awesome chemistry lab video tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, in this video I want to talk to you guys about wash bottles. Now believe it or not, wash bottles are one of the most commonly used pieces of equipment in the chemistry lab. Some are small and some are rather large. You know, people have different sizes. It doesn't, you know, it doesn't make one better or worse. Some are nice and soft and some are, you know, big and hard and firm, but they basically all do the same thing. Whenever you squeeze it, a little bit of liquid comes out. Oh. Oh. And you know, that's basically what a wash bottle is. Now, one of the most common uses of a wash bottle is actually cleaning. Say you have a dirty test tube, you dirty, dirty test tube. What you want to do is, of course, take your wash bottle, stick it in the hole, and start getting it real nice and wet, just like this, and go ahead and just slosh it around and dump it out. You have a nice, clean test tube. Now, of course, sometimes whenever you use a dry chemical or you're boiling something, then you're going to want to use a test tube brush. But for very simple cleaning, you can go ahead and use a simple wash bottle. Now, aside from just cleaning, you can also use these in chemistry experiments, and they're actually really helpful whenever you want to add a very small amount of liquid to a chemistry experiment. For example, these are usually filled with distilled water, and if you need to add some water right here, of course, you wouldn't want to use a beaker because all of these little uh, reaction plates would overflow. So you would want to use something like a wash bottle and just add a little bit, maybe a squirt or a few drops to each reaction plate. And of course, there's much more control with a wash bottle rather than a huge beaker. Now these wash bottles right here, they're usually made of very thin plastic and they're made this way because it makes it a lot easier whenever you're squeezing the solution out. But since they're made of such a thin plastic, it's a good idea not to store chemicals in these for a long period of time because chemicals can eat through plastic and when you have really thin plastic, of course, it's going to eat through it rather quick. So again, whenever you're storing a chemical, you typically want to store it in a glass container or a plastic container that's a little bit thicker than a wash bottle. Again, if you're just storing distilled water or something, then these are fine. But nonetheless, I would highly recommend picking some of these up. If you look online, they're only about $2 each. So go ahead and grab, you know, three or four of them. And, uh, well, that's basically all, all I got to say. So anyways, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.